All right, I thought we would do a little bit of a test here with our new Cherry Trail device, this little $99 Kangaroo PC. I've seen a lot of people reviewing it and um, talking about some of the other Cherry Trail devices, but nobody is really picking up on the throttling problem with high heat. You'll see it in forums, and a few uh, journalists have commented on it, but it's not getting enough attention, in my opinion, because there's a definite problem with the way these things are um, are coming out in these, these certain platforms. Uh, anyways, so here's the Kangaroo PC. I know it's kind of dark. You can see that little blue light there. Uh, Windows 10, 2 gig, 32 gig eMMC SSD. And uh, we're running Steam on it here. I've got Fraps installed. And what we're going to test with is Fallout New Vegas. And that's because Fallout New Vegas, as well as a lot of the other uh, the other Bethesda games, um, run the CPU and the GPU pretty well equally. So it places uh, performance requirements on both sides of the processor. So just to show you what we're doing here. So we're going to run 720p full screen, low preset. And this is at uh, desktop temperature, so we're just going to start it up. We're going to see what the performance difference is between the two. Now, the difference between the CPUs is our Cherry Trail device over here, our little kangaroo, has got the X5 8500 CPU. And that's uh, running at a 1.44 gigahertz speed, and it turbos up to 2.2. And our little Bay Trail in the X205TA is uh, running at 1.33 gigahertz, and it turbos up to 1.83. Now, the big difference between the two, here's our little Asus over here. Uh, so I, it's got a small screen. I hope this is going to come through. Uh, if you can see our little frame counter down here, we're looking at 31 frames a second on the Cherry Trail at 720p, which is pretty darn good. And... Just to show you, if you can see it here, you probably can't. And if you can't, I deeply apologize. Um, we're doing 720p and full screen, low preset. I'm guessing you trust me anyways by this, this amount of time um, that we are doing what we say. Now... This frame counter here, hopefully it is showing up 20, yeah, it's, I'm hoping it's going to come through. So we should be able to see the difference between the two. Now, again, we just started this up from, from uh, a cold start, a fresh reboot. And we will see a performance improvement because of the, the better GPU coming out of the Cherry Trail device. Now, you'll notice it's starting to change there. Put our fist away. Now, within two minutes, there we go. Two minutes, it's hit a uh, thermal ceiling, and it's throttling all the way down. Now, this is um, this is probably around 480 megahertz. Uh, what I've seen is it'll it'll drop out of turbo mode, and it will uh, drop out of turbo mode, and even underneath its uh, start operating speed, which is 1.44, and uh, drop down. So, right now, if you can see both of that, we are looking at an identical frame rate for both of these things. That's despite 
the faster CPU clock in the Cherry Trail, and the um, the 16 EUs versus the two execu or sorry the four execution units in the Bay Trail. Now we'll just let it go till it does a spin around. Now, as you can see, as less detail is shown, the frame rate does uh, does go higher. There's less requirements on the processor. I should have moved my mouse so we had about the same time limit before it starts to spin, but our Asus will pick up on it soon enough. Now, what we noticed on Skyrim was speeds that were actually lower than the um, than the Bay Trail test we had done on the X205TA earlier on in the channel. So there you go. We're actually looking at higher frame rates at this point now on the Bay Trail because we're looking at we're almost the same angle, same settings, same resolution, and we are hitting higher frame rates on the, the little bay trail than we are with the cherry trail. And that will fluctuate on the cherry trail as it as it cools off a little bit, and then it ups the clock speed, which will again, will it's a vicious cycle, right? It heats it up, and uh, then it has to drop it back again. All right, so that's throttling in the works, and yeah, this is, it's it's cooking pretty well there, the top of the kangaroo. Now, what I will say is, well, the Bay Trails, there was two versions, and forgive me if I've mentioned that, there was the, uh, there was the Bay Trail T, which for tablets, which is the Z35, 30, or sorry, 3735F, and the Ds which are our, um, our laptops. The Braswell processor line replaces the Bay Trail Ds. So it's actually a Cherry Trail uh, core as well. It's just got a different name. So you're going to see Braswell branding on laptops. And one of the common processors you're seeing right now is the N3050. And that's a dual core. That's almost a replacement for the uh, N2800 series. But it has this same throttling issue. And uh, we've seen it on some other um, journalistic reviews who've actually put the device through tests and uh, put it under load. And it, it also has the same throttling problem, um, even though it's a laptop CPU. And that's because those Braswells should be um, cooled via a fan and not, there's my phone, and uh, and not passively cooled. So anyways, hope that's uh, a little bit enlightening. Leave a comment below, uh, like, subscribe, and we'll, uh, I'll answer this phone and we'll do some more tests later on. Thanks for watching. Okay, I thought we would do one last little bit. Uh, this has been running on both machines for about an hour. Um, you can see it's gotten quite warm on the uh, Cherry Trail Kangaroo here. Uh, we're looking at 15 frames per second. 
It will uh, go up occasionally to 20, but it never gets higher than that anymore. And uh, by contrast, we are seeing about about 20 to, to 23, 24 at times on the uh, on the Bay Trail. So anyways, uh, what we'll do just for comparison's sake before I shut this off is we'll just take a quick run through the uh, the town and see what kind of frame rates we get before we shut this off. All right. So we're still looking at roughly around 20 frames per second on the kangaroo here. So, at least with this device, that's what it seems to settle down to in terms of gaming. Uh, we don't we don't come down off of that thermal high in order for it to get the frame rate back up, which is disappointing. But you know, it is what it is. So let's flip over to the uh, the old Bay Trail. Okay, sorry about that temporary glitch there. I had to plug in the HDMI cable. So here we are mirroring the X205 TA. You can see that we've got 21, 22 frames per second, 21, 22. So uh, this is the Bay Trail, X205 TA. I'll just do a quick run to the city, see what we get. which you will notice we are getting higher frame rates by about uh, anywhere from six to eight frames per second higher running through town here than we were on the cherry trail, which tells me that, uh, uh, that thermal, oh, look at that, 30 frames per second. So we were getting about 20 here. So we're 10 frames up on the older platform. So that's strictly a, a thermal throttling problem. And if I get close to the camera here, and I guess what that means is that the Cherry Trails do have a uh, ability to get higher frame rates, to be able to gain better. However, there seems to be a problem with uh, some of the manufacturers implementing cooling solutions. Because a lot of these Actually, I think all of these are passive cooling. So there are no fans uh, being placed with them right now. And either they need a larger uh, heat sink than what they've got now. Uh, they just run a lot hotter, these chips. Or they need to implement fans as a solution uh, within their machines. Because um, this Bay Trail is doing a heck of a lot better at 720p than the uh, Chevy Trail was. So. Anyways, with that, we'll end it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope it was informative. And we might do a couple other games looking at this before I send this uh, this poor little thing back to Microsoft. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Take care.